Right then, here we are, the repaired wall, in which the men were doing over the last couple of years, repairing this wall here. Stone wall. And uh, I've got to the top. That was, that was quite hard for me today. Now, I was just thinking, the volcanoes going off in Iceland, maybe they're responsible for a lot of this grey cloud we're getting. And also affecting people with asthma, like myself. We've had an awful lot of greyness. And I just want to take a picture. We've had an awful lot of greyness. Now that was quite difficult. I, I never find it easy coming up through the, the wood from right down there. I mean, it is, it is a climb when your bag is heavy with your water and your food for the day and your cameras and your first aid kit and all your bits. Like I've got a small umbrella. They all add up, even though they don't weigh a lot on their own. They all add up. Oh, yeah. Look, there's those little little family I met yesterday. Um, I don't know if it'll come out. Down there's a little family of uh, goats. I met them, not yesterday, day before. Little tiny family. They were up here munching. I'm so relieved to have got that bit done, you know. And my fingers crossed the cows still aren't out and then, wow, then we can walk down through the cow field. Because to be quite honest, even those fields over there, I thought I saw a few black cows. I've never been across those fields. Maybe those two women I met earlier who got lost came across there. Because there is a path across there somewhere. But I'm sure I saw about four or five black cows in there. I've not risked it yet. We'll wait. So here we are. We're at Piney Slights. Um... Just got to climb over the stile, the stone stile. <sighs> Bear with me, folks. <sighs> I'm expecting part of this walk to be extremely muddy when I go down into a dip and then up, the, up another side. Now, I haven't done this for a couple years. Um, I, yeah, certainly a couple of years since I've done it from here. Let me just take a picture a minute. Yeah. See, the grass is growing. And it's not too muddy here. So I don't think it'll be that long before they do let the cows out. And they usually have a bull. There's quite a large herds of uh, goats up here as well. And sometimes there's been the odd pony. Uh, not one, one or two. From the farm. That the... But I did notice the herd increasing in size last year. I think it was that last year I was on a particular walk when I camped over here. Yeah, I had to make a diversion get over a stile further down when all the cows were up here and I couldn't come through this way. I had to go down there, get on the path and come out of a, a gate over there. Yeah. But of course I was up here the other day on my walk from Winscombe. But I just had to have my inhaler again. Just lately, I, I don't know if it's high pollen or... It does look very murky, the sky. Just makes you wonder if it is a volcanic result. Because Iceland isn't that far away, really. Anyway, I'm so glad to be up here, folks, on the humpy bumpy bit. Yeah, the humpy bumpy bit. No sign of a cow. We'll soon find out when we get onto that ridge there. We'll be able to see there's any down in the field and then we won't be able to do it. 
but it looks to me that way. I can see, I can see the goats. I know there's a difference between a goat and a cow, but well, sometimes the cows do keep tucked in, so you have to be really alert. Well, I don't feel there's any out. There's no cow pack down there. Just down there. Wait a minute, let me just put my camera around my neck a minute. It's, I can't zoom. Down there. I can't. There's no viewfinder, so I'm having to guess. Down there, across the field there, is Piney Slikes Farm and the big tree. I can't zoom in because properly. Now then, I've just looked over there. I thought I saw black cows yesterday, and in the field over there, there are cows. That they can't get in here. That's a different farm. There are cows out there. Maybe they're only putting one or two out at the moment. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they're only putting one or two out. But here, no sign. Only the goats. There's Robert Warren. I can do video with this camera, with Kodak, but I'm using it for photos at the moment. And using, um, I've got three, two other full batteries for the Sony. They last all day, two days. So I'm going to follow this little path. I do sometimes go and wander around there as well. And there are various, what I call escape routes in these bushes to take you on another path that takes you down the steps if you want to go on the circular gorge walk there's a path a gorge walk most people do when they get a bit confident people start branching out and exploring more thinking I wonder if there's another way all those trees over there that's what's called black rock that's where the old quarry is and I'll be walking past there a bit later. I've put my clock away, my mobile, turned off, put away. I always turn it off really as soon as I leave home and I've got on the bus or the train. I just turn it off and forget about it until I need to check the time. But here we are. We're really completing a walk that I would have normally have done if I'd there'd been a five o'clock bus, I would have been able to fit a bit more in and gone across what I call Long Sheepfield and round. That was the plan. The other plan was to come through the farm. Aha, uh -huh, look at that. That looks more like cow. It could be a splattered... Um, sheep poo. They tend to be lumpy like that, but that could be a splattered one. But like I said, you've got to keep a lookout round here. Because sometimes the cows go into the trees. So this is Sheila on the first day of spring, the 21st. The 20... I've had that on Zoom then. The 21st of March 2000. And 24. The spring equinox, I suppose, was this morning. But I don't think many people would have seen the sun. There's various little areas, mounds with stones. They could have been sheep or shepherd huts once where these little stones there. They, that could have been a, a place where there was once some sort of uh, structure. Uh, so I can't, there's no evidence of cow. The most you can see evidence of cow is very old patch like that. <clears throat> Which I'm still surprised to see. I'll tell you why, because they might have, because we've had a mild winter I think they might have kept the cows out for quite a long time. Hence we're still seeing evidence. They might have only been out a couple of months. 
and the grass as you can see is not very long it's not very green anywhere there's Cheddar Gorge over there we've got a we've got a lot of um, flat to do a little tiny hump and hill further down just a little tiny one um, we don't have to do any more hill climbing until we've walked through Black Rock cross the Cheddar Road and then have to climb up a nice steady climb now I prefer climbing up I've, I've slipped a few times um, going down Cheddar Gorge it can be quite dodgy so there we go folks this is Sheila enjoying the freedom of being out and I am busy putting the other video I did the other day to place it on YouTube soon and my blogger I got people who like to watch them even though they send people to sleep you see and I'm taking a bit of time doing this I'll tell you why because once those cows that are out here a big herd with calves with a bull you know you just I just don't come I have to be very careful coming back if I come back that way if they're all around here if they're down there you can get up through if not I have to do diversionary tactics which means getting into another field ever barbed wire and all sorts now is this a little plaque I might have missed yes it looks like it doesn't it something I might have missed in the past What's this then? Oh no, it's just a water. It's just a water washout, it's called. I don't know what that means, but something to do with the water, I suppose. Take a picture of it, shall Any cows or not? I'm just turning Back off on. the vid. Do you know what? I feel so blessed being able to walk here like this. To walk across this field like this without any worries about anything. It's a shame it's grey, but you think you can't wait because apparently in the next five days it's going to rain. This is the only day where it's not going to rain. There's all the goats there, look. I just try and zoom in because there's a little troop of them. And they're all moving away because they've heard me. But I can't see a bloody thing. I think that's them there. See them moving away? I think it is. It's terrible with that viewfinder, you know, you can't see nothing. All I can see is my mouth and the sh reflection of the viewfinder. Not a view, it's not even a viewfinder. You can see them a little bit better there, look. They're all around like a small watering hole. Down there, that tree. Soon this place will be filled with cows. It's a big field. Like I said, I feel so blessed to be able to walk here and um, <sighs> 
say hi to the goats. On this very grey day, the wind's colder than it was. The wind's colder than it was the other day. Hello, little goodies. But I am exposed. I'm out in an open area. Now we won't check the time until we get to the Black Rock area. Otherwise, if you start looking at the clock too early, but I have to check it round right about then because I have to assess the time. But there, there is time to, to do it. What I'm doing, there's plenty of time. I mean, I'm I'm walking slow. To be quite honest, I'm walking very slow. And I'm absorbing the beauty, even in this greyness. And these animals that are out here eating all the grass before the cows get out here. I can imagine when they come with those cows, you know, they open that gate, they'll be kicking and frolicking. There's a little family that side, see? And over there, you've got another little family. I had to buy another hat, but apparently they found my hat on the bus. Remember, I just mentioned my hat I left on the bus the other day. Yeah, I did leave it on the bus. i got to go and pick it up one day from lost property. They are aware of it. They are aware that it was on the bus that broke down, actually. after um, Later, after dropping me off, that bus actually broke down. And uh, it was, a lot of people were waiting for a bus that never arrived. I've, I've wanted to walk across here, you know. I dream and, and when I try and go off to sleep, I'll think about this walk later. Walking across here, feeling that breeze in, in my, filling up my lungs. Helping me to breathe. Of course, Longfield's further over where the sheep are normally hanging about. I'll, I'll, I'll get round to doing that. That will happen. That will happen. But I really don't like climbing up like I did today. I, I really don't like that. That climb up. It's supposed to be the easier route. <sighs> it's hard. That was hard today. Now where I'm entering in a minute, there's a gate down there. We'll be leaving Piney Slides. This beautiful area. And um Yeah, we'll be leaving this beautiful area. going down into a little valley where it can be extremely boggy. I'm expecting it to be quite mucky when I get through that gate down there. And I climb, I'll be, I'm all right once I get up and I'm walking over there. So it's a little tiny hill I've got to climb, nothing like I've just done climbing up through Cheddar Wood. God, yeah. That was, that was hard today, but my bag was so heavy. It doesn't feel heavy now. Same stuff, more or less, in it. I have got both cameras out, and I've got a bottle in my pocket I'm drinking out of. I didn't bring as much water today because it's uh, not going to be hot. It's not as nice as the other day, weather-wise. But the idea is to get out before the cows are out, and also... Rain is forecast over the next five days after today. I don't know if it's heavy rain. I might still be able to do very, very local walks for me, like my wood or sand bay or uphill. 
they can because they're not far for me to get home if I got soaked. You don't want to be drenched out here and then have to wait three or four hours for a bus because the buses are not very frequent at the moment. Um, and, and I can't see much change until they, I'm hoping when they bring the new timetable out, they'll fit another hour in. And I always think there'd be a few people who think, oh, why ain't there a five o'clock? You know, why ain't there a five o'clock bus? That was my favourite time, five o'clock. Knowing that if I miss that one, I still had the six. Or if something happened to the five o'clock, I would still have the six o'clock bus. But now you've got to go from like up past two. If you miss that four o'clock, you've got to wait to 20 past six. That's nearly two and a half hours to wait for a bus. And there's no other buses come through, by the way. And when that bus must have broken down the other day, it must have caused so much disruption. I was very lucky. I thought the bus sounded rough, mind, when we were on it in the morning. Um, I did think it sounded a bit cranky. And it broke down that day with my hat on it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right, so it's a while since I've been over here. Um, it's got to be two years, easily. Someone's sort of done a bit of rock art there, but I'm not going to go over to it. I'm going to get up to the gate. I'm going to turn off now, folks, and take some pictures. Over and out.